film stars were not so lucky. Lena Dunham, you're funny, you're awesome, you're spunky, and you clearly have someone in your entourage who is lying to you. This look is terrible from top to bottom. I wish I could say that the lipstick was the worst part, but unfortunately, Lena, you get a big thumbs down from me all over. Uh, we're back with the inside scoop and here with some juicy stories from one of my favorite star magazines. <laughs> Say hello to Shallon Lester. Hi. Go. Lamar and Chloe. Okay. So Lamar, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so Lamar is doing better. He's alive. He's conscious. Yeah. <laughs> but he is, he's still, he's a mess. He's in acute kidney failure, so he needs six hours of dialysis a day. And what's actually concerning the doctors most is the series of strokes that he had. He had a dozen strokes during his overdose. Right. So he is now looking at a, potentially brain damage, um, physical damage. He's gonna be in the hospital for months, years of rehab, and even then he might not get back his physical and mental ability. So like, that's worst case scenario, but best case scenario for Chloe, like Jesus take the wheel scenario, you're still married to a drug addict who cheats on you. You know, even if he were Shallon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where is the lie, though? You're Where my kind of lie? girl. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, so doesn't. what's up with her and Big Sean? Well, so things are looking up on that front. Uh, the last time we really heard they about them. They are such a mismatch. I mean, not because of the color thing, but yeah. just. Like, I, they make sense to me because he likes a firecracker, like Naya Rivera. A little crazy, really beautiful, talented, but a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So we actually saw them just the other day at Universal Studios Hollywood making out on the Revenge of oh. the Ride. Case closed. They are a couple. First babe. I know, but it's a very like teen romance. She's she has a, a teen vibe to her How and her old attitude. Is Big Sean? 26? Wikipedia. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Well, thank you, Shallon you're Lester. Welcome. She's from Star Magazine. So if you're thinking of having your own girls' night in this holiday season, be sure to add a bottle of hypnotic sparkle for some instant glam. For more information, head to hypnotic.com slash sparkle and be sure to think wisely and drink wisely. So if you guys are wondering exactly when to introduce the tongue into the uh, whole kissing scenario, here's my advice. When lips meet lips, count to about four. So one, two, three, four. Then open your mouth. However, back to the betrayal. Sit down with your best friend and speak from a place not of anger, not of, you're such a bitch, what a traitor, Blah, I hate you. A place of hurt, because that's where it's coming from. Anger is usually a cover for pain. And speak from that pain because that's going to make you connect with her. That's going to get your point across and that's ultimately going to heal your relationship or tell you that she's not really a great friend to have. You lost the guy. You don't have to lose the best friend. For more on topics like this, click subscribe. I have playlists from friendships, frenemies, sex, drugs, everything in between. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ShallonXO. And if you have a love question of your own, leave it here in the comments section or as a YouTube message.